Hey everyone, it's Mother's Day, and it is a beautiful 100 degrees out here today. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, uh, anyway, I was doing an oil change on the Suzuki, and uh, I still have a little bit of a high-speed vibration, and there's always been a little bit of noise in the front end. I've replaced a lot of parts, and uh, I still have it. And... Uh, while I was doing an oil change today, uh, I decided to go over and check it out, and I think I might have found it, so I'm going to head on over to the Suzuki and uh, show you what's up with it. Be right back. Alright, so the Suzuki's due for one of its many oil changes today, and uh, yeah, I have this noise in the front end. It's a little bit of a clunking sound, and it's been getting worse, but uh, anyway, I had a bit of an epiphany. The other day so I thought I'd come under here and take a look at it and I think I might have finally found it the noise has always come from the driver's side and uh, if you're not aware but chances are if you're watching this video you are uh, these cars were notorious for having a, a high-speed vibration ours started at I would say 30,000 miles is when it it just started to become noticeable and uh, Throughout the years it got worse and eventually almost everything down here has been replaced. The control arm, the shocks, the uh, tie rod ends, and uh, the bearing, and everything. But today I think I might have finally found what uh, what's going on here and it looks like it's in the shaft. I'm going to try my best to set the camera up here. I can't really... Uh, get it on my head but uh, let me get the camera in the place and uh, let me show you what's going on alrighty hopefully you can get a, a decent shot of what's going on here uh, basically the noise is coming from the uh, the inside of the axle sh uh, shaft here the CV joint so uh, probably those uh, those balls inside the CV joint are probably busted and they're probably in uh, a bad shape. But it's not too terribly bad. So the way I was able to uh, pinpoint this down is uh, I have the, the car in park. And hopefully you can hear it clunking around. So yeah, it makes that clunk sound, and I'm not pushing it uh, to either ends of the limits of the shifter paw in park. So, uh, let's see, right there is all the way against. So, as I, as I come off of it, you can, uh, you can hear it clunking. And actually, I don't know how well the camera will get this, but if I give it a little bit of support, let me try and get it the right way. You can feel the vibration right through the shaft. And, uh, yeah, basically I'm just going to get a new shaft and replace this. I have rebuilt these uh, CV joints before, and uh, they're not always fun. And, uh, quite honestly, I don't know where you get the parts for them. But uh, they do sell the whole shaft with everything together, which is a lot nicer. So uh, anyway, hopefully that's what's going on here. I'm going to replace this. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll keep you updated when I get the part and uh, change it out. We'll see if uh, I can get rid of that clunking sound. And also when you drive it over rough terrain, you can, uh, you can hear it clunk in the front end on this side. And uh, other than that, there's no play or, you know everything else has been replaced so there really isn't anything else that uh it could be but uh, i just wanted to share that with you uh you know uh, trying to figure out if uh if your axle is bad uh is kind of hard to do unless it it's really bad and in this case this one has been kind of bad for the longest time and uh yeah hopefully that's it and I'll get the part, and I can uh, get this all taken care of. Alrighty, so uh, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm going to finish up with my oil change and uh, get that axle ordered. And uh, I'll do an update. We'll see if it makes a difference and stuff. And 
maybe I'll be able to get some footage of what it sounds like when uh, you're driving down the road, the, the clunking sound it makes. But uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later.